Hi guys, it's Miss Jessica. I'm actually reporting to you guys from outside today. And the reason I'm doing that is because one of the things that we have to do in order to do our artwork today is go outside, which it is a beautiful day outside, so I think it's a perfect time to try this. We are gonna be doing something called rubbing. And it's something that you do is you take um, something that you have found and you're gonna put it underneath your piece of paper. And you might've done this at school before, but you're gonna take that item and then you're gonna use a crayon and you're gonna rub across the paper and you should be able to pick up the image that is underneath the paper. So if you put a leaf under the paper and then you rub across the top of the paper when the leaf is under it, you should be able to see the leaf when you rub the crayon on it. So the first thing we have to do is we have to go and find some stuff. So so uh, you can use anything that you find outside that's flat um, and it has to be greenery, you know, like um, weeds or grass or leaves or anything you can find. So let's go on an adventure and find some things that we can use. Okay guys, so let's see. What we can do is look around everything that we have. So I'm going to kind of show you some things that I'm going to find. So, ooh, look down here, what do we have? See all of this? This is really good stuff. We can use, pluck it out, some clover. Clover might be really fun to try. So we'll try some clover. Let's see, we'll go around. Oh, look at what I found over here. You might be able to find some of this. What's that? It's a pretty flower. But we could use that. That'd be fun. Oh, if you look over here, look at that. Found some really cool leaves that we can try. We'll pluck a couple of those. Okay, we're just gonna go around our yard and find the things that we can rub. There's lots of different things like, oh, I found something right here. This leaf, but that'd be a really cool one to do. You can get one or two of them. I have these things in my yard, but they might be kind of fun. Your car, I call them whirly birds. I don't know what you call them. Let's see, what else can we find? Oh, look up here. I don't know if you can see up here. Oh, oh I'm gonna jump. Got some really cool leaves I can find. Okay, so I'm gonna go around and I'm gonna find a few more things, and you can go find your things. And then when you're all done, you can take them inside. Don't make too big of a mess. You don't want to have to worry about cleaning up too big of a mess. So find some fun things that you can use like this. Take them inside and get them ready for the next step. All right, guys. So I have got a bunch of different things that I found outside. You can see all these different things. I found some dandelion greens. I found some grass. Look at this really neat thing. It's got some little seeds on it. Um, look, I, found, I found this giant leaf. I think this is a ragwood or a uh, wet, no, sorry, ragweed. I found some different kind of leaves. I found a flower. I found some clover and a whirly bird. These are all some things that you can use. Now I'm going to kind of move them off of my page here. And you're going to, you can have just the table that you set it on that is part of how you're going to do it but um, I'm going to have this white piece of paper down um, to set them on so that you can see it better on the camera. So I'm just going to arrange some things on here. Let's see. I'm going to put some different leaves on. You can create um, some patterns. I'm going to put this flower on there and see what that does. I've got some really cool clover. My girls have been collecting four leaf clovers since we've been on this break. So there's all these different things that we can try. All these different leaves. Maybe we'll put a, another one on top here. Let's do that right there. And then what you're going to do is take a piece of paper, set it over top like this, kind of flatten it down just a little bit. Then, okay, 
So what you'll need past this are some crayons that are peeled, um, have the wrapper peeled off of them. Now I wouldn't use your best crayons. Maybe you don't even need whole crayons. You can have little tiny chunks of crayons, but you'll want to peel the wrapper off so that you can use it um, to do the rubbing. Because when you're going to do this, you're going to do this uh, the rubbing with your crayon sitting like this. You don't want to do it like like you're drawing. You want to do it like this. And you're going to take it and you're just going to rub it across your page. Now look at how cool that is. Oh my goodness, there are some really fun things you can find. And then if you want, once you've done a little bit, you can change to a new color. Let's see what I got down here. Oh, look at that. Look at that interesting leaf work that we have. Look at, you can see the veins of the leaves, and I'm going to change to another color here. We'll go to orange. Ooh, I was waiting to see what that big leaf would look like. He's pretty cool. Oops, I broke my crayon. That's okay. And then I got one more color here. I got some purple, so I'm going to use purple. This is a big leaf over here. I'm going to need some extra care when I'm trying to do the rubbing on it. Pick up. Now one thing I noticed is that that flower didn't do much, but that's okay. So, anyways, you can kind of see, do some experiments, see what kind of really neat things you can find. Maybe go out and find some different ones, and um, you can really see all of the fun things that you find. I didn't even try to do grass. Let's put a little bit of grass on here. I'll kind of move my stuff here and see what happens. When I put some grass on here, kind of do another one rough. Oh, and I even got these leaves. These are pretty cool. So I have another piece of paper here. Let's see what happens when I do this. Let's do some more. Oh, look at that grass that I'm picking up. Isn't that interesting? This is just a really cool thing to do to kind of see. Oh, can you see this one right here? That super neat. You can do this with all sorts of things that you find outside. Look, look at all those neat patterns it picked up. Anyways, I think it's a really neat project to do. So why don't you go ahead and see what you can come up with. Alright guys, so that was your project. I've still got my sunglasses on my head from going outside. So I would really like you to give this a try and see what kind of things you can come up with. And I want to show you some other and things that I noticed. This is the paper that I laid underneath of it and it squeezed all the juices of the leaf on, on it. So one of the things I want to remind you is don't do this on your mom's good table without putting something underneath of it and don't do this on a couch or anything that's going to leave those juices on there because that, that stuff that's in all those leaves, um, that green stuff can actually stain give it a grass stain or something. So like I said, you did some really, can see some really cool things. You can see some of the veins and all the really interesting things that were in those leaves. You can fold this in half and make a card out of it and send it to somebody. You can see all the different kind of leaves. Maybe you can go out on an adventure and see how many different kind of leaves you can find because it'd be really cool. Um, give it a try and have fun. Um, if you want to show me what you did, feel free to have a parent um, log on to my Facebook page and uh, Miss Jessica's art room and you can upload a picture of it. Have fun with this and I will see you guys next week. Bye!